Hello everyone, welcome to Monash Open Day. I am Kim Na, a lecturer at the School of Mathematics. I am studying financial mathematics, also known as mathematical finance or quantitative finance. In this video, I will briefly describe the financial math sections at Monash. Financial mathematics is a field of mathematics studying problems motivated by real-world financial markets. The underlying assumption here is that everyone is trying to make the most profit while minimizing the risk when they trade their product with others. In that sense, financial mathematics is the mathematical study of the market. It includes three components. First, modeling of the market. Second, finding optimal control of one's behavior to maximize potential profit. Third, minimize the possibility of adverse outcomes and cross-checking the models and the proposed trading strategies against the real-world data. Let's say you are investing your money. You can evaluate your options using two criteria, the expected profit, aka return, and the accompanying risk of loss. Nobody wants high risk, low return. And it leaves us three choices. Is there a low risk, high return opportunity? Yes, but it is usually a small profit or illegal. If you find one, please let me know. We can make a fortune. So in principle, we assume no strategy produces profit without taking any risk. Using this principle, we can find a fair valuation of financial contracts. This framework leads us to the crowning achievement, Black Scholes Merton formula, which won the Nobel Prize in Economics. The formula tells us how to form a fair financial agreement of certain types. Here, fairness means that neither parties can make a no risk profit from the agreement. Well, one may wonder then why one makes such an agreement, but two parties agree on a contract when it is beneficial to both of them. For example, if you want to buy a car, you borrow money from a bank. The bank earns the interest by lending while you now can buy your car. Therefore, theoretically, forming a fair contract actually makes everyone happy. Other two options are either high risk, high return, or low risk, low return. According to your taste of investment, aka risk profile, you should balance between risk and return. Since the financial situation of the environment and yourself are consistently changing, you need to dynamically adjust your investment's risk exposure. In this sense, financial mathematics also concerns financial risk management. These tests cannot be done without sophisticated mathematical tools. In the financial market, millions of participants, possibly billions if you count the trading robots, are continually trading million different things to maximize their profit and minimize their risk. Terabytes of new data are generated every second 24-7. But at the same time, we suffer from a lack of data as the modern financial system was established less than 100 years ago. Mathematics is essential in understanding and tackling this complicated problem. Financial mathematics develops theoretical frameworks and tools, including differential equations, probability theory, computer simulation, statistics, and optimization. Some of these subfields com are combined and called machine learning or data science. Financial math section, which consists of people from both academia and industry, performs the field-leading research in various aspects of financial mathematics described before, and educates future financial mathematicians in the academia and the financial sector. These schools are aided by our research and education partners, including various universities, CSIRO, EMP Paribas, Climate Works, and GARP financial risk manager program. These collaborations are amplified by our recently founded Monash Center for Quantitative Finance and Investment Strategies, CQFIS. As a financial math student, you will learn how to model random phenomena in finance, how to analyze it quantitatively, and how it can be applied to the real world. The corresponding units will include calculus, differential equations, probability theory, and statistics. More advanced materials such as quantitative risk management, 
quantitative trading and micro microstructure and interest rate modeling are offered as honors and graduate units. After graduation, there are tremendous job opportunities await. Let me show you a slide. In addition to academic researchers, many financial mathematicians work in industry as risk managers, financial engineers, fund traders, asset managers, fund managers, and investment consultants. Actually, job opportunities expand beyond the financial sector. Energy industry often hires financial mathematicians to adequately optimize the price and supply according to the needs for electricity, CO2 emission, and etc. Other businesses also hire financial mathematicians. For example, I have recently seen job ads for Crown Casino and Disneyland in Florida. Most of these jobs are intellectually exciting and well paid. Do you want to learn math involving data and money? Then you are a perfect candidate for our school majoring financial mathematics, which can fast track you to a master's later on. We can explore financial mathematics together. Welcome to Monash.